Welcome to upstate New York. I'm about to get on an airplane to go to my buddy Garrett Hartle's house in Pittsburgh, Reach Out Reptiles. He seems to be under the impression that I'm gonna be doing all kinds of work for him while I'm there, but I think the dude is tripping. I'm just gonna put my feet up, enjoy some Pittsburghian ice cream, and just get ready to head off to Tinley and just relax. So let's get in the air. I need you to grab the, start with the Sula, she's over there. Wait, let me just explain this to you real quick before you get going. This girl's gravid, so you need to be, no, that one, yeah. No, no, the other one, yeah, that one. She's gravid, she's in blue, be nice to her, but she goes in the cage under the Sula. This goes in the other cage there, and then the guy that's in the top is like breeding male. Listen carefully, I've seen your video with the pied reed tick. Do not touch that breeding male, you will die. I'll go get that one. Me with one arm is probably better than you on a good day. You're doing everything wrong. Good to go. All right. We'll this is it. Mike and Joseph. They heard that Garrett was going to be slave driving me today, so they figured they'd come down and watch. Join the fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joseph, you watch the channels and stuff. You watch Reach Out Reptiles, yes. you watch Triple B TV. Now that you're hanging out with us in person, what, what do you think? It's awesome. Yeah? What, what is all awesome about it? Everything. Everything? <laughs> I like the answer. If I didn't like the answer, I was going to tell you then that uh, Garrett actually made me ask that question. Joseph's actually holding my favorite snake here at Garrett's house, which is uh, Bantang Sulawesi. Bentang Sulawesi, this thing is gorgeous. He's, you're working on getting this into Super Dwarf? Can I tell people that? Yeah. Yeah, so, th so he's working on getting this locality to be a Super Dwarf type of thing. And if that happens, then I'll, I'll finally get my very first Reach Out Reptile snake. <laughs> So this, this is why Garrett is having help. Why? It's not that he's really, you know, he's not being lazy, he's not just a slave driver, but look at this. I mean, is it oozing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely oozing, bro. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, man. I mean, they, they took like a tennis ball worth of tissue out of there. And so there's just a big hole inside me, which is apparently now filled with Pepto Bismol. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. I was gonna help you wipe it off, but I feel like I might gag if I do. I'm glad that you were able to reach back there and do it yourself. Oh man, I think we're gonna have to censor this video. That's probably not a good thing. No, not if you're supposed to have those taken out tomorrow, right? I think I have like a giant abscess in my shoulder. Uh, Garrett's gonna go get his shoulder checked out of the doctor. I am gonna take a little nap and a shower and get out of these dirty clothes and he's gonna come back and we'll go check out downtown Pittsburgh. <laughs> Thank you. 
skip the alleyways. We're gonna go check out like a place called Fermani Brothers, which is, uh, I guess, like the classic place to go and get a bite to eat around Pittsburgh. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna enjoy myself down here. My grandfather is actually from Pittsburgh. And, uh, you know, I, I have never been here ever in my life. So it's pretty cool to be in a place that I've never been that my family's actually from. I think there's a bunch of Cuscos around here. I don't know any of them and I didn't reach out to them unfortunately. I just was kind of here to hang out with Garrett and um, go as fast as we could. But I guess uh, my point is I love being in a new city, checking out new places and experiencing whatever the culture is. Luckily Garrett's from here so he can show me like the culture and kind of what it's all about because yeah, should be a good time. Oh, I'll be in the shot. Richard and Heather. No, oh, I'm looking at my mic. I looked into my microphone. <laughs> Richard and Heather. This one's for you guys. Like Lent is huge out here. I think I told you like uh, Pittsburgh has like the highest Catholic population per capita anywhere in the world. So like when you go Lent, everyone McDonald's doesn't serve cheese, they serve fish. Especially on Fridays, you do fish Friday. Nobody eats meat, they just eat fish. So that's like the minimum amount of fasting you can do. But they just go crazy with it instead. So it's really not fasting. It's really, Check out this fish. You like that wide? Look how wide that Look how close we are it's to this crazy. Lens. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I I do like that lens. That looks like an expensive lens. It is. How many times have you replaced it? I've, that's the, this is the first time I've owned this lens. Look at that. Right. Like, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Right here. I still look far away. Like, I look far away and my nose is touching it. <laughs> Pennsylvania macaroni. We've been here about 120 years. Same spot, same location, uh, owned by the same family, uh, the Sinceri brothers, and uh, we're having a great time getting ready for the holiday season. It gets busy. You can't see the floor. There's so many people here for two months straight. You know, but we got all the Italian delicacies you want. You know, good stuff. <laughs> Super dwarf. Yeah, so we got some fresh meats. We had the Manny Brothers sandwich. It's feeling pretty good. We got some mad Steelers pride going on right there. I think it's been a good Pittsburgh day. Thank you, Nico, for telling us a little bit about the uh, the meat and cheese shop over there, the deli, the classic Italian deli. Appreciate it, man. Um, hope you guys are watching this. Right now, we're gonna cruise down to the Allegheny and Monongahela rivers, which come together to make the Ohio River. And my grandfather always told me about this place, so it's gonna be kind of cool to check that out too and see if we can get some nice shots of the city. Yeah, let's go.
finally got to check out the point. My grandfather has always told me about this place where the rivers do that thing right there that you saw where they, they meet up here and you can even see the definitive line where they meet up and it continues rolling down into the Ohio. Pretty sweet spot. Felt some memories there eating that, even though I'd never been here before, eating that, uh, the sandwich at, at uh, Permanis. Permanis. The sandwich at Permanis. Just, uh, I, I felt like my grandfather was eating it with me. So that was a co cool feeling to have. Big thank you to Mr. Garrett here for hosting out here in Pittsburgh because... Uh, thank you guys for checking out my vlog. <laughs> yeah, this is where Garrett vlogs, right here on this channel. Vlog if you, your if you're brand new to the channel, that's the only way you don't know who this guy is right here. If you don't, I would appreciate if you go follow his channel, Reach Out Reptiles. Link will be in the description. Pittsburgh, right there. Pittsburgh, right there, baby. And yeah, he's got great content on his channel. If you guys haven't seen his channel, and you want to know more about reptiles, I mean, no, not worth it. He thinks it's not worth it, which means it really is. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you at Mr. Forrest's house.